the fence. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like to welcome you to, to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, Wednesday evening words of encouragement. We thank God for you. We, we, we pray that you're praying for us. We covet your prayers. We need your prayers. Um, we believe in God with you. We must all understand that we're a part of the body of Christ. We need one another. We, we stand together. We pray for one another. We walk in love towards one another. We don't look down upon each other. We, we serve one another. We thank God that he is, that Jesus is our head. And our Heavenly Father has placed us in the body as it pleases him. I encourage you, saints of Most High God, more than ever before, pray one for another. Pray one for another. Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God. Let's go to the Lord. Let's, if we need to repent, let's repent. Let's turn away from our sins. Let's ask the Lord God to, to forgive us of any wrongdoing. Saints, let's ask the Lord to remove from us all resistance to his will. Let's ask the Lord to remove from us all resistance to his will. Saints, we are the body of Christ. We, are, we, we represent the Lord. We are here to do the will of our Heavenly Father who has sent us forth. Saints, our God is good to us. Our God is good to us. We are an, an unstoppable people. We are lights in this world. We are those who are the heirs of salvation. We are God's very own, our Heavenly Father's chosen and His beloved. And in the name of Jesus Christ, walk in the light. Follow after Jesus and you'll walk in the light. In Jesus' name, be healed, be made whole. Every member of your body be in perfect health. Be restored in perfect health in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, every blind eye be opened, every lame walk, every every part of your body that need restoration be restored. Your body be in perfect health, completely and totally made well to the glory of our Heavenly Father in Jesus' name. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that our Heavenly Father test to testify to us with signs, wonders, miracles, gifts of healings, gifts of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, the mind of Christ. Our mind is stabilized. We are focused on Jesus. The Bible tells us to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ, to keep our eyes on Him. We are sober in thought. We are of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the, this truth. Jesus Himself confirms the word with signs following 
in your life. Your faith works immediately. Your faith tells a mountain to move from here to there and the mountain moves. The spirit of the living God speaks through you. See, from your innermost being flows rivers of living water. And the life of God comes forth from your mouth. You are indeed an overwhelming conqueror in Christ. Saints of the Most High God, let's realize that we are of God, little children, and greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Let us realize that this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. And who is he who overcomes the world but you and me who believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Saints, let's realize we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We always, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ always leads us in triumph. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, every devil be cast out. Every oppression leave every bondage, every torment, every captivity, every sickness, every disease, every darkness, all death, be gone in Jesus' name. Be gone in Jesus' name. Saints of the Most High God, we live, and we live more abundantly. Jesus Christ is our strength. And it's in the Lord Jesus that we go forth and we overwhelmingly conquer. Saints, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Saints of the Most High God, you continue to speak the word of God over your life. Saints, in the name of Jesus, I encourage you, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word one more time read the word pray the word obey the word speak the word and the word will manifest in your life the word will manifest in your life nothing can prevent the word from manifesting in your life nothing Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. Again, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must obey the word. We must refrain from willful sin. Now, if we practice these, we will never stumble. Ever. If we practice these, we will never stumble. Ever. Ever. If you want to live a life where you never, ever miss God's will or miss what God says or, or, or 
or be on the outside of what God says, I have a simple solution for you. Obey the word. Obey the word. If we obey the word, we will always be in God's will. Every single time. Every single time. Obey the word. Saints, if you would, we're still talking about kindle afresh the gift of God in you. Kindle afresh the gift of God in you. And and we I I I, I like to, you know, I believe the Lord ha has led me to make this notation, you know, before we get started uh, even deeper into this. And, and that is this, because some people, you know, are under the impression that somehow or another, Timothy wavered in faith, but he did not. So let me tell you something. Timothy had in no way departed from his dedication to the gospel of Christ. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to reiterate this. Timothy in no way departed from his dedication to the gospel of Christ. That just did not happen. That just did not happen. Saints, I want you to realize this, internalize it. Don't let anything rob you of this. Saints, there is a gifting of God within you. Saints of the Most High God, our Heavenly Father, sanctified ones, that's you and me, there is a gifting of God within you. And that gifting of God is powerful, it's strong, it's, it's, it's a manifestation of how gracious, gracious God is to each and every one of us. And that gifting of God, let me put it like this, you are tailored that God might get the most of what he's given you. You are crafted. You are crafted that you may get the fullness and the greatness of the gifting that God has placed in you. Don't you ever listen to somebody tell you that you are less than someone else. You look to God. Our God knows what he's doing and he knows how to perfect you and me. And he does. He is faithful. But, excuse me, with that being said, go with me to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. The Bible says this, For this reason, I remind you to kindle afresh the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. And I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible, 1995. Uh, I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible, 1995. And the Bible is telling us, the, 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 remember, the Spirit of the living God ministers to all of us, okay? So remember that. And, and, and the Bible is telling us to stare to, a, to stare to a blazing fire. To stare to a blazing fire. The gift that is in us to keep it fresh. 
to keep it blazing, to keep it fresh, to keep it in full flame. You see, he, he said, remember, he said to, to, to stir up, to a kindle afresh. And he's telling us, when he says a kindle afresh, he's telling us to keep that, that gift burning in a full flame. Don't let it die down. Don't let it die, uh, 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 calm down. He's telling us to stir that gift up, to stir it up again and, 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 to, and to be alive uh, like a blazing fire. He's telling us to keep this gift, to stir it up again and again and again, to keep it blazing, to keep it alive, to make sure that it's a blazing fire. We have to cause it to burn hotter all the time. This gifting now, See, we're the, the Lord is encouraging us that this, this kindle of flesh, this gifting, we're to cause it to burn hotter all the time. We don't let it cool down. We don't listen to, to, to uh, 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 things whispering in our ear and all that kind of type of thing. We listen to the Lord. We follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. We obey the word of God and we keep that, that, that gift in full flame. Full flame, you know, we, we re-energize this, this, this gifting by, by, by obeying the word of God, by walking in love, by ministering the word of God, by speaking the word over our life, by giving our God all the praise, the glory, and the honor, by not being compromising, by not being ashamed, but standing on the greatness of who Jesus is. You don't listen to people try and tell us, well, you know, uh, uh, you're a this and you're a that. No, I'm a son of the living God and he has gifted me. Just like he's gifted you. Nothing, absolutely nothing can destroy the fullness and the greatness of that evil eternal, magnificent, perfect gift that our Heavenly Father has placed in you. You're second to no one. Our God, the Bible says our Father has placed you in the body as it pleases Him. And so just like the body needs other members, the body needs you. Keep that gift a, a, a blaze. Keep it burning. Re-energize re -energize that gifting that is in you by way of obeying the word of God, praising God, worshiping God, believing God, calling on the name of Jesus Christ. Obeying the word. See, we, we vigorously and we aggressively and we energetically Feed the flame. I'm going to say that again. Hallelujah. Because see, we spend time in prayer. Yes, we do. We spend time laying out before the Lord. Yes, we do. We spend time uh, 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 standing in the authority of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. When everything else, when everything around us is sinking sand, we stand. Stand on the, in the hands of the Holy Spirit who lifts us up above all the things that's going on around us. Everything, let me tell you something, saints. The, 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 we, we are so uh, uh, energized and we are so uh, 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 vigorous in the Word of God. Let me tell you something. We can look around and everything around us is shaking and falling down and falling apart. But through Jesus Christ, the greatness of God, the miraculous of God, the goodness of God have us steadfast. 
We don't give place. We vigorously, aggressively, energetically feed the flame of the gifting that the Lord God has placed in us. See, saints, we keep that gift alive. We, we keep it alive because we know that the spirit of the living God abides in us. The grace of the living God abides in us. Saints of the Most High God, we are gifted. And that gifting is without recall or repentance. It manifests in us. And we are, we are obedient to the God, to our, our, our God, our Heavenly Father. And we speak with all confidence and boldness. Lord God, thank you for doing great and mighty things in us that we know not of. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look, saints, amen. We're gonna have to stop there. We're gonna have to stop there. But uh, you continue to pray. You continue to praise. You continue to worship. You continue to love. You continue to realize this gift in me is in full flame. Kindle it, saints. Kindle it. Saints, we have to stop there. Amen? Listen, there are those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I encourage you to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If that's you, Please pray a prayer like this with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. And then there are those of us who, who practice willful sin. That's being apostate. Well, we're done with that practicing willful sin. Praise God, hallelujah. We're gonna kindle afresh the gift and we've, walking away, we've walked away from sin completely and totally. If that's you, please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sin. I turn to you. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. You are faithful and you are righteous to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for manifesting your great mercy on me. Amen. My next invitation is to invite you to go to our YouTube station. Our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Once again, our YouTube channel is Rivers of Life Christian Center, Chesapeake, VA. Saints, I thank you for going to the YouTube channel. Oh, how grateful I am. How thankful I am to see that we're all working together to win as many as we can for the Lord Jesus Christ. Saints, in the name of Jesus Christ, let's go pick this vineyard clean. To, you, to the glory of God, let's go pick this vineyard clean. Saints, thank you for, for, for realizing that we all work together and that we're all a body. I want to thank you for your support. I want to encourage you. Copy this link 
can place it on every platform you have and place it over and over and over. Our objective is to win the world as for the Lord Jesus Christ. See, we want to be a part of that great harvest. We don't want to leave anything out or anyone out. To God be the glory. I mean, you, you take this thing and, and, and repost it. Put it on your, your, your podcast, your websites, and everything else you got. And do it over and over that the Lord Jesus might receive the glory. For he is the head. And we all are in agreement with that. I encourage you, invite your friends, your families, your loved ones, your co-workers, start your Bible study, those of you who have been called to ministry for whatever reason, you've been, you've put that ministry on pause or you are in some situation where you think that you cannot pick that ministry up, stop listening to that lie. Wherever you are, Jesus is there and you pick that ministry up and you win as many as you can for the Lord Jesus Christ. You win as many as you can for the Lord Jesus Christ. Your ministry is necessary. That's why the Lord called you in the first place. So saints, let's, let's, let's get to moving. We are going to pick this vineyard. Our God is glorified. My next invitation is to invite you to come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Once again, we are Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, Two three three two one. We're waiting for you. We have a place for you. Saints, it's time for us to come to church. It's time for us to gather together. It's time for us to take a stand together and lift up the Lord together and believe God one for another. It's time for the body of Christ to come to church. We are inviting you. Come to church. Our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Again, our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Visit us on the web. Our website is www.rearersoflifecc.com. Again, our website is www.rearersoflifecc.com cc.com please go to the website go to the website and, and look at our prayer and fasting regimen you can also uh, uh, watch what we're doing on the website on the website so we encourage you to to Go to this website. One of the things I want to encourage you to do is to look at Selah. Go to the website and, and, and do your power reading, of course, and look at Selah. Look at Selah. Selah is, is, is scripture that you can look at that will encourage you, you know, no matter where you are. No matter where you are. See, it's a great time 
to spend as much time as we can in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. When you read uh, the psalm and you see the word Sila, it, it, it means this. Pause and think about that. And if you see this word Sila, you know, um, in the Psalms, it, it, it's telling you, pause and think about that. Saints, read Sila. Pause and think about that. Saints of the Most High God, my request for you is that you pray for us. We covet your prayers. We covet your prayers. Hold us up before the Lord God. Pray for us. Pray uh, whatever is on your heart concerning us. I, and I believe that you're praying for the goodness and greatness of God to manifest in our life. Saints of the Most High God, pray for us. We covet your prayers. Please mention Rivers of Life Christian Center in your prayers. Saints, we're calling on all prayer warriors, intercessors, uh, uh, those who make supplication, petitioners, praisers, worshipers, and everybody who pray. It's time for us to pray. We should be praying at a minimum one hour per day. At a minimum one hour per day. It's time for us to pray. Let's pray, saints. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's seek God's face. Let's seek first the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Let's pray. The Bible teaches us that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Saints, obey the word. Obey the word and live. Obey the word. Saints, I got some good news for you. Something good is going to happen to you. This very hour, this very day, Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.